John and Jenny were watching the oil drill in action. Suddenly, the ground shook, and the oil rig fell down the ground. They decided to make a tunnel drill from a cultivator to explore the oil field. They replaced the plow blade with barbed oil drum to dig into the ground. When they went down to the tunnel, they saw an oil-soaked man trying to push the rock to stop the oil from coming out. John and Jenny joined a hand to help him with their tunnel drill. Finally, they did it. Thank you, the man said. It was thought that the oil had stopped erupting. Who would have thought? Because the pressure was so great that it pushed the rock away. John and Jenny were about to help the man, but unfortunately, the screws of oil drum were broken. After thinking a while, the man took out the diamonds and broke them into pieces, put them on the oil drum as screws. They drove zigzag around the oil trail to the ground. When they reached the ground, the man kicked with his own strength to make stones on either side of the oil hole to fall down the zigzag line they had just drilled, filling the oil pit. They were very happy because it could stop the oil eruption. Tommy was sleeping next to a tree when suddenly dropped a four-season lucky wheel. He was so curious and tried pulling the handle. At first, when the arrow stopped at summer, the earth shook and tropical plants overgrew everywhere. Tommy was so excited and walked around the forest. Because the sun shone so hot, what meant Tommy felt so angry. Oh my God, it's too hot said Tommy. He came close to a wheel and pulled the handle to winter option. The sun immediately disappeared and the weather started to snow. Tommy was really enjoyed with the snow. Suddenly, a lump of snow flew into Tommy's face. It was Jenny who wanted to play snowball fight. After playing for a while, Jenny bore heavily a big snowball upon Tommy, which meant he got angry and he tried pulling the handle again to choose spring option. While Tommy, interestingly, was walking around to watch the bloomed flowers, he was chased by a bee nearby. He ran as fast as possible and incidentally crashed the lucky wheel broke it into pieces. Things returned to its original state and Tommy fell asleep again peacefully. While Jenny was controlling a robot to walk around, she saw it wanted notice. She tried to find out the crime and suddenly the crime appeared and shot her with her bubble gun. Jenny promptly joshed the bubbles and fly to the sky. The crime chased her and didn't stop shooting her. The bubbles were everywhere because Jenny could dodge the bubbles. Unfortunately, she was shot by a big bubble. She tried to escape, but there was no way. After a while, when Jenny was floating loosely in the air, the bubble collided with others and became a bigger bubble. Jenny collected all the bubble around and tried to break the bubble to escape. Jenny chased the crime And luckily, she got the bubble gun and shot the big bubble to lock up the crime. Finally, the crime surrendered. When John was carving the gem into a very beautiful shoe statue, Jenny came in and excitedly gave him a big applause, which made him proud of himself. 
The two children ran down to the garden to look for gems. Suddenly, from the stone emitted the blue light. There was a stone fairy appearing. The fairy asked them, "Came in a cave." After that, she spelled the cave to be closed and locked the children up. John came to see the sparkling gems. Then Fairy had used the magic to make the stalactites rise and lock Jenny. John frantically used a hammer to knock on the stalactite to free Jenny, but stalactite did not break. Carve the gem into a very beautiful flower for me, then I will let her go. John reluctantly obeyed. After a while, John sculptured a very beautiful flower. The fairy loved it a lot. He asked her to release Jenny, but she shook her head to refuse. John got angry and used a hammer to break the flower that he had just made. The flower fell down and knocked the fairy. John continued to use a hammer to break the gem and used it as a hammer to rescue Jenny. They held the gem and rushed through the cave to back home safely. John made beautiful flowers from the gem that she brought from the cave. They laughed happily together. They were waiting for the moving truck that was carrying their stuffs. The truck finally arrived with all types of furniture. Give me a hand, please, Tommy. We have to move them inside. The sofa was so heavy that his mother had a sore back. She lay down on the couch to relieve the pain. Tommy approached her and said, "Take a rest, Mom. I'll take care of it." And the girl Jenny came up with an idea to help Tommy. She told him her plan, and they both smiled, thinking that was a great idea. Tommy left, and a moment later, he drove back a pedal car while Jenny built a crane arm using the Lego pieces. They started moving things. It seemed that with his invention, they could do everything. When the mother woke up, they had moved all the furniture inside the house. Suddenly, an earthquake happened. They ran outside and saw there was a brick in the ground. But as before, this did not put our intelligent friend in difficulty because they could build a Lego bridge through which they could ride their pedal car. Let me show you how it works," Tommy said to Jenny. "Wow, it's so amazing! Good job, bro." "Oh, mom," the kid said. Then the kids followed mom to help her with the doubt machine. Mom put all the flour into the machine. Then Jenny added water in it. Tommy tried to rotate the handle, but he couldn't. Jenny brought a motor that matched with the rotation and put the button. Finally, they got it. Mom got the flour and cooked meal for them. Mom and Jenny enjoyed the meal, but Tommy didn't want to eat. Then Jenny tried to put tomatoes, vegetables, and carrots to the dishes to make a colorful dishes for Tommy. Tommy really liked it, and they were happily enjoying the meal. In front of the toy store, Tommy felt so excited. Then he came to the shopkeeper. Can I have robot? Yes, if you have money. Tommy tried to find the money in his pocket, but there was nothing. Then he came back home without saying anything. He looked around 
and then he tried to search for the money under the blanket. Under his bed, and in the cabinet, but there was nothing. Finally, he broke his piggy bank and got the coin money.